Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the teachings of the faith, such as doctrine. Today, are the doctrines of the church wise? This isn't as simple a question as you might think. After all, wisdom is usually about experience, knowledge, or good judgment, and you don't need any of those things to follow a doctrine, right? Actually, that's not quite true. Following a true doctrine is a good decision requiring good judgment. You need to have knowledge of the doctrine in order to understand it, and as for experience, true doctrine are supported by the combined experience of saints and philosophers over hundreds of years and come from God, from whom all experience is a gift. What else does doctrine need in order to be wise? Some say that it needs to prove something, like a science, in order to be wise. However, the reason we make these kinds of demands of science is that we're testing the scientific methods we use to prove their validity and usefulness. Since true doctrine comes from God, it's impossible for it to be invalid or false, so there's no need to put it to any further tests, as we would a scientific approach. Some say that in order for something to be wise, it's got to be based on certain principles that fit logically into a sensible order in our minds so that we can verify them. Again, though, since God is the highest reality and wiser than any man, believing what he has to tell us is a proper order for our minds to be in, provided that we know which doctrine is God's and which isn't. Some say that all wisdom comes from God, but since we can learn doctrines through study rather than merely being enlightened by the Holy Spirit, it must not be so wise. However, if the doctrine does ultimately come from God, what does it matter what means he used to pass it on to us? It remains true as long as no part of it has changed. The fact is, human beings have certain things that we need to do in order to be wise. Judging, classifying, studying, and so on are all good ingredients for knowledge and wisdom. And when we study more advanced and higher topics, there's more wisdom in that. For example, studying physics is considered wiser than studying the history of comic books. So, what if a person decides to study the highest reality of all, God? That's what doctrine is all about, a study of God, by God, and given to us for our education. Not only is doctrine wise, but we can conclude that it is wisdom itself to judge things so well that you place God in his proper place above everything and everyone else. Next time, can true doctrine prove itself? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.